Hi, I'm Dr. Courtney, Jesus Professor, and in this episode of Sex 101, we're discussing why you need Jesus for good sex. Good sex is not possible outside of marriage. Sure, it may be pleasurable for a short time, but once the consequences of sinning against your own body catch up with you, you'll realize that the costs far outweigh the moment of pleasure. The only regret I've had about sex and marriage is that sometimes it was over too soon. Sex within marriage as an expression of oneness and true intimacy gets better and better the more husband and wife die to themselves and serve each other. As scripture says, consider the needs of others as more important than your own. The, the healthy human heart is not compartmentalized. It's unhealthy to erect soulish barriers and pretend that we are at peace in areas when we don't really have peace. Likewise, without Jesus cutting us off from former lovers and shameful actions, the memory and soul ties of former lovers and shameful things will detract from your oneness and your sexual intimacy with your husband or wife. If you're struggling in your sex life, look to Jesus. Jesus has all authority in heaven and on earth given to him. You know that includes authority over your sex life and to help you with whatever is impairing that oneness of flesh that God wants husband and wife to have together. If you're not married, cry out to Jesus to bring, to bring you out of sinful expressions of sexuality and either give you a spouse or give you the gift of singleness, sometimes called celibacy. If you are married and struggling, ask Jesus to show you the areas of need for prayer and healing in your marriage, including marital intimacy. Whether you are single or married, if porn is part of your struggle, cry out to Jesus for the gift of repentance and freedom. Con consider confessing the struggle with porn, not only to God, but also to some accountability partners who can stand with you in your struggle against porn. You know, there's a verse in scripture that says, in your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood. And so my question is, in your struggle against porn, have you resisted to the point of destroying your cell phone every time you fall scripture says to hate even the clothing stained by corrupted flesh the the phone or the computer whatever it is you use can become an idol that's involved in that and one of the first steps toward freedom might be taking a hammer or a baseball bat to it <laughs> praise the lord jesus